Hey people, Anthony for Before Diesel. Depending how long you hang around, this video could either save you some money or cost you some money, but it shouldn't be long to work out which way it's going to go. It's to do with these clips. Part numbers and whether you should replace them or but not. Just before we tell you whether you should replace them or not, I just want to say quickly, in case you missed it, don't ring me. The phone doesn't ring. It's a text message service only. Monday mornings to order parts. Okay, these covers here, you can see this one here. This is one of our vehicles. Guess what? Look, it just sits there. What do you think it's going to blow away something? Remember the bonnet closes over that. There's a seal here where the bonnet, the edge of the bonnet goes up to this seal. So why would you even need clips? So if you need clips here, so what this is really good for when you're cleaning, all right, you can just lift it up. You can go, okay, whatever you check your DC, DC charger, clean bugs out nice and easy without removing, what is it? 13 clips or something like that from memory. Let's have a count. One, two, three. Let's do it the easy way. Four across the back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I thought it was always thought it was thirteen. Right, so the point is this one just sits there. Ever since the car was new, when we removed it to install the SBI 12 on the DC DC bracket that we don't need the DC DC, but it was there just in case we decided we did. That's a separate video, people. Subscribe, turn the bell on, or you're just gonna miss out on so much information that's gonna save you money and help keep your vehicle reliable. You don't need the clips, okay? So if you take your windscreen this one off here to do your, see there's a couple little clips at each side there. Same thing, look, the bonnet goes down, there's a seal there, it's holding it down. In my opinion, they are a pain in the butt to get to. So I'm just letting you know what I'm gonna do from now on, what our 4 before diesel workshop partners might do from now on if they watch this video, and what you might do from now on, okay? Don't bother putting those clips back in because they're a pain in the butt to get in and out and they actually don't do anything to help you. Here, same thing, if they're all not there, it's not actually untidy, because who's actually sitting around with their bonnet open all the time going, oh, look how untidy it is, okay? So I'm recommending if your clips get broken, don't bother replacing them. We're going to show you how these clips work. We've done this before, and we'll do it again. So these clips, when they're locked, you just push them down till they're flush. I'm not actually going to do it, and that locks in the bottom of the clip. When you want to release it, you push it past flush. So this one's broken because they get dirt and dust in them when they get old, like that one. This one's actually broken, uh, plastic old deteriorates. They're actually good clips, they work well, keep them clean. But the point is to release it, you just push it down, pop, and they come loose. And that's why people lose them because they just keep pressing these things and they get lost. Now, if you insist on buying some for the 150 Prados, this is your part number here, but I'm suggesting it's a waste of money. They've got two or three bucks each, whatever they are, I can't remember, right? You know, it's 20, 30 bucks a bag. You need 13, right? So some cars we're just using a whole bag on, and I'm just going, it's such a waste, I don't even use them on my car, so we're not doing it anymore. If your car's Mickey Mouse, and you've got one or two clips missing, that's what these are for, we'll just replace them. But if you've got a whole heap of aftermarket clips that are a pain in the butt to remove, um, we're just going to rip, we haven't got time to spend half an hour to carefully get out your crappy aftermarket clips, or if there's some old dusty ones that are going to, you know, that's what it is. If you get sacrificed, what we're going to do is, we're probably going to give them back to you in a bag and say you can do what you want with these, or we're just going to let them pile into a container on the bench here with everything else, because you don't need them, okay? Just my opinion, up to you what you want to do. Now, this is for the 150 Prada, this part number there, so 9046707211 for those people that can't see. And here at the, uh, these these ones, these are inside around the wheel arches and that, okay? Well, I think it's the 120 and the 150, but I generally don't take these out too much. Definitely the 120. They go in, they hold all the plastic liners in. Now, they've got a little, and around, you know, when you do your snorkel, these are the clips you need to replace. 90189T0014, right? Yeah, a couple, two or three bucks each, like usual. See the corners is where they release. It's hard for you to see through the bag here. Let's find one that's not in the bag. No, we haven't got any of those ones not in the bag, there you go. But look, we've got a few here. The point is it's the corner area that releases. You've got to squeeze that corner, which is hard to get to sometimes. The other thing you need to know is you can actually put a bolt in there. See that hole there? You put a bolt in there and it makes them really strong. That's what I do on our vehicles that travel the outback. The bolts go in for any of these that are loose because it really locks them in there. Like a dual purpose, it clips in the plastic and then it's the one that the screw goes in afterwards to mount mud flaps and stuff like that as well. So there's two of your part numbers. And then the last one, but not least, for the 120 Prado, 90467-08217. They're those ones that, they're actually quite real old. Once they get old, once again, see the, what happens. We're talking 10 years old here, right? See the bits break off like that? So you can just throw those in the bin. We just keep them because sometimes you might get a good, a, a good inner. 
like that one there that one's not actually there's nothing wrong with that one that's why we've kept it probably just that was the last one left on it and uh you know we just went you know we'll just put a whole new set on there but i'm not doing it anymore now the 120 i know people that run the 120 without the clips never had a problem i know people that run it without the trim now the trim does a job it's not just to look good so i would recommend you leave the plastic trim in place or you like to leave it off because it's good for even cleaning. on the 120 it is good for cleaning because it leaves it open like this right but what you got to understand is these trims they also do another a cooling they have their this is where I hang around just watch the whole video so the air goes in here right if that's open then it can just go straight out there because that's the least path of resistance up or somewhere instead of through the radiator we want it to go through the radiator that's why there's these ducts at the side here didn't know that well, subscribe and turn the bell on because I'm going to tell you about these things. This is what, how we do. This is what we do. We just tell you the real information you need to know. Air goes in there, needs to come out through the cooling system, and then it even blows over the engine and whew, just keeps going. It's a constant flow, keeping things cool. If you haven't got your airflow here, mate, you've got problems most likely, whether you know it or not. So in my opinion, ditch the clips. This video can be called Ditch the Clips if I remember to do that. Ditch the Clips if you want but if you're fastidiously i've got a bag of brand new ones i think they're in the console in case i ever decide to put them back in you know if i sell the car maybe that's when i'll put the clips in but then if the person watches my videos he's going to go oh yeah you know what did you put the clips in for so i'm not going to put the clips in because you don't need the clips i've repeated myself enough times now trying to brainwash you because that's what everything else does we really want to get it into your head that you know what this isn't untidy and this is nice and easy to clean it's easy to remove for maintenance and inspection so everybody's vehicle, I want to see no clips and nice clean covers, nice clean engine bays. Thanks for watching, buddy. And like I said, don't worry about ringing me. <coughs> the time to ring me is never, okay? I'll ring you if there needs to be a phone call. You need to watch the videos. It's text message service only. Monday mornings for all the usual parts kits I'm not going to go on about. Tuesday morning, 8 o'clock for Dobinson suspension. And I shouldn't really hear from you any afternoon or any other day of the week other than Monday or Tuesday unless you're invited to do so in a text message by texting me Monday morning or Tuesday morning. Monday morning from 7.30am as soon as possible because I need to get on to packing those kits ASAP, not picking up the phone. And of course, same on Tuesday. Tuesday morning, but we do have vehicles in the workshop, so I can get distracted by that. I will be on and off the suspension thing, but I like to get it sorted out in the morning when I can. And some people notice some crazy things happen at crazy times. That's what it takes, you know, when you want to get the job done. Anyway, Bada Bing, thanks for listening once again. Like I said, up to you. Subscribe, turn the bell on so you don't miss out on that information, correct information, saving you money. All right, so I wanted to say if you're still hanging around, if you have or ever will purchase a injector kit, Sometimes we include these items for a lend. We did and then we didn't. And we do when they're available, as long as you promise to return them and understand the core deposit on your return injectors. You need to return the injectors, the Molly the Ultra Grey, the Dow, the Caps and the Crows, whatever. But when you don't get excited with the knife, because this is what someone's done here and it's really important. I might have to do a separate video because later on in videos, people are going to miss this. They've sliced the tube open there with a knife. No big deal, right? This is a $40 tube of Molly card, so it is a big deal. But anyway, I know it's a rip-off. There's two holes there, so they've gone crazy with the blade. I wonder what happened to the valve cover gasket and the nozzle seals and the, you know, slow down with the knife. Take your time. I took time to pack it so it didn't get damaged. Just take your time, slow down. I know you're excited. Just slow down and take your time to unpack those injector kits and those BFE kits so you don't damage something. All right, once again, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.